Hello everyone and welcome to test driven development in Python. If you stumbled into this course, you probably know what test driven development is. If you don't know, let's do a quick uh, Google search on test driven development and you'll see that let's click on the first link and let's see a test driven development is the process of writing tests, making them fail and then writing some code to make them pass right so we first add a test we run the test the test will fail we make little changes we run the test it fails again we make little changes we run the test and once they pass we again add other tests so if you're not aware test driven development is the modern way of writing code everyone needs it and it really sets you apart from other developers out there so in this video we are going to write uh, we are going to do some test driven development and we are going to build some pretty cool software with it what are we going to build by the way so we are not going to build a website uh, or we are not going to build web uh, i mean web scrapers or uh, rest apis or nothing like that in fact we are only going to work on core python programming language right we are going to build a simple command line interface that solves a particular problem and then we are going to do test driven development to solve the, uh, write the code base for that particular software so let's just look at what we are going to build right so i want you guys to go into geektrust.in that is g e e k t r u s t dot i n i have uh, i'll make sure to put the links in the description i have a referral code so please click on uh, the referral code and go into Geek Trust. Right? Once you're in Geek Trust, you'll uh, let me just show you what Geek Trust is. Geek Trust is a job site, but what sets it apart from other job sites is that the people here are pretty smart and they give you some real cool coding challenges. Right? They give you real good coding challenges and they evaluate you based on your quality, the quality of your code. Okay, so let's look at some of the companies that Geek Trust has. It's Capillary, CureFit, Code, uh, Gojek, Rapido, ThoughtWorks, Zomato. These are all the companies that hire through Geek Trust as well. We can look at other companies as well. We can go into other companies as well. We have all these companies over here. And what they do is when a company is interested in you, they send you an email. And then when you click on accept, you get coding challenge or you get a coding challenge so let us look at all the coding challenges that we have over here so let's go to the coding challenges let's view the coding challenges right now we have three types of coding challenges back end front end and tech architect now you might be thinking like there is there is so less coding so not so many coding challenges right there's only four of uh, four for back end one for front end and one for tech architect what the hell is this so the thing is in it's not about getting the correct output for geek trust for geek trust it's more like writing quality code right so we it's like it's more about uh, writing good quality code and let's look at what what is evaluated i mean what are all the things that geek trust expects right so what what is, what are all the evaluation points for geek trust so let's go to their career advice forum and okay let's not go there so let us just look at the badges that geek trust gives you right so obviously there are four types of badges you get back end front end mobile and tech architect right four types of badges then you have language badges if you write good code in the programming language then you get badges since we are doing it in python we are supposed to get the python badge right and now these are the skills that geek trust evaluates on it looks at how well you've built your code so building okay let's forget about uh, uh, looking at each one of them so these are all the things that Geek Trust evaluates you on build the data structures that you've used extensibility as in how easy it is to extend your code 
how easy it is to add new functionality to your code how well have you modeled your code as in the object oriented modeling as well as functional modeling how good is your logic how clean is your code readability and maintainability basically stands for how clean is your code how good are your tests right the test uh, test part comes in here if your code is correct or not is there a dependency there how good is your error handling if you are writing front end code basically how good is your html and css semantics modularity responsiveness service design service semantics since uh, so service design and service semantics basically mean web services or things like that so it's going to be rest apis and all that so we are not going to cover that and then we have problem badges as for each problem we solve we get a problem badge right so looking at this we get a final geek trust score and based on the score uh, companies will be looking for us so what we are going to do is we are going to solve one of these problems we are going to solve the family problem over here since this is kind of uh, the most popular one it seems so let's just download that problem real uh, quick and we are going to download it in python and let's hit download we have downloaded it and we're going to have a look at it so you can see we have problem context we have the whole problem definition over here sample input output build instructions everything since we clicked on python this is the python version of the problem you can click on any language you like so guys in the we are going to go over the problem and describe uh, the problem in the next video for now I hope you guys create a Geek Trust account. Trust me, guys, you get a lot of cool opportunities from Geek Trust. I have the link in the description, so make sure to check them out and explore Geek Trust. And in the next video, we're going to go over the problem and try solving the problem. Right? So, with that, see you guys in the next video. Bye.